Welcome to Stream. My name's Izzy and I'll be helping you find your way around the Stream mobile app. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use the Stream mobile app to perform a run and make the deliveries and collections associated with that run. The Stream mobile app makes it incredibly easy to view all the designated stops on a particular run, provide route navigation to each of the addresses and to manage what happens at the point of delivery or collection. We've just finished completing the pre-use walk around checks on our vehicle and now we're ready to set off on our run. Don't forget to check out our completing walk around checks video to see how to complete your pre-use, handover and end of the day checks using the Stream mobile app. Let's press runs to get started. The run screen will show us the run that we have been assigned to. This screen shows us the name of the run, the vehicle to be used, the start date and time, the number of stops and the status. Let's select the run. When we select the run, it asks us if we have departed yet. Depending on how your system is configured, you may not be allowed to select that you've departed unless you have performed a check on the assigned vehicle. We can use the no option if we just wanted to review the details of the run ahead of time. But in this instance, we'll select yes as we're about to set off. At this point, you may be asked to let the Stream app use your location services. This will be used for the navigation element. It's important to allow this so that both customers and the system administrators are able to track the location of the driver. This screen lets us view each of the stops that are planned for this run. These will appear in the order created by Stream as it provides the optimum route for our deliveries and collections. It shows us the order type, the address details and the customer's delivery slot for each of the stops. If we had said that we had not departed on the previous screen, we could update this now at the top of the screen as we set off. Let's click into the first stop on the run. Here we can see the full address details, the expected duration of the delivery, the actions we can take on arrival, any address notes or driver instructions for this stop, customer contact details and any unique order information. As we are about to set off on this delivery, let's press the route button. Clicking the route button will open up routing directions on the device, in this case Google Maps. Once in Google Maps, we can simply hit start and follow the navigation until we reach our destination. Once we have arrived at our destination, we can leave Google Maps and head back into the Stream Mobile app. Here, we can see the actions that are available on arrival. Firstly, let's select Arrived, which will update our status for everyone, including the customer on their tracking link and our team back at the office. If we need to let the customer know we have arrived, we can use the call or text buttons to contact them. Once we start unloading the items from our vehicle, we can press the unloading button and this will take us into the item list. Here, we can see a checklist that displays all the items on this particular delivery. If our company uses the scanning feature within the Stream Mobile app, we can scan each of the items as we unload them off our vehicle. Let's tick the items that we've unloaded and press Action. As we hand the goods over to the customer, we can state whether the delivery has been successful or confirm if there are any issues with any of the items. We will need to confirm delivery of the goods at item level, as well as confirming the delivery of the entire order. The first two items have no issues, so we'll select these two items and choose Delivered OK. However, with the third item, there is some damage to the box, but no damage to the goods inside it. So we're going to select Delivered with Issues, and then capture a picture of the damaged box for both our benefit and the customer's. We'll also add some additional notes stating that the box was damaged but the goods inside don't appear to have been affected. Now that we've captured all the information for this successful delivery, we can go ahead and press finished. We are now returned to the item list and each of the items on the order have all been ticked off. Now we just need to confirm the overall delivery of the order. To do this, we start by pressing finished once more. Now we're at the final screen for this delivery. On this screen, we can provide the status of the overall delivery. 
These options can vary from business to business and will have been configured by your system administrator. For example, if there has been no issues here, we'd have the option to select things like no issues or left with a neighbour. However, because we stated that one of the items was delivered with issues as the box was damaged, you can see that the options are different. We will select service call needed so that a member of our team could contact the customer and make sure that nothing inside the box was damaged. We have left the items with the customer so we can take a picture to confirm they have received the goods. Then, in the notes section, we'll state that one of the boxes was damaged and a courtesy call from our customer service team would be beneficial. This order also requires a signature, so we can simply press the signature button and let the customer enter their signature to confirm receipt of the goods. Then, we add the name of the recipient into the box underneath and press the tick. Now we've completed everything for this particular delivery, we can press finished. This will return us to the stop screen and has updated the status of this delivery to be completed. This will have updated the order status on the tracking link that the customer has been provided with and will update the information we captured at the point of delivery. The system administrator will also be able to see this reflected in the stream web app immediately back in the office. Not only this, but the delivery times for the remaining deliveries on the run will also have been updated and this will be reflected on each of the customer's unique tracking links. Using the Stream mobile app to make a collection as opposed to a delivery is exactly the same process. You will still see the details of the stop, the route to the collection address and requesting a signature upon collection. Now we are able to move on to complete the rest of the stops on this run. Once we've completed all our stops, it's time to head to our end location to complete the run. If we click the end location, it will once again show us the route button. By pressing this, we'll jump back into Google Maps, which will provide us with the navigation to our destination. Let's go ahead and make the journey there. Once we've arrived, we can head back to the Stream Mobile app and choose Arrived. We can then return to the stop screen and press the complete button to confirm that the run has been completed. This will show a pop-up window that asks if we are sure we'd like to confirm all the collections and the deliveries. We have, so we'll go ahead and press yes. This will automatically return us to the runs menu and if we press refresh, it will now update the status of the run to complete. If you need any additional help using the Stream Mobile app, please contact your system administrator.